Hey everybody, it's noon time. What, 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 what? Um. First one in here gets to see me dance. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my hat's a little too big. I think my head shrunk. See how this looks. Lord, how are you? Who's watching me now? Say hello and greetings, cause I look like a silly cow. <laughs> hey, buddy, got a lot of fun stuff to show you today. And I definitely teased that um, there was going to be some um, cool old chaos comic stuff coming in the next two weeks. Well, a couple of them will be here, a couple will be on Monday, but a whole lot of them will be on next Wednesday. So let me know when you're here. Have no fear. Say hi. No, I'm not going to put myself on video. That would be weird. That would be weird. All right, guys, let's do this. Hello, greetings, salutations. It's Wednesday. It's time for the catacombs. It's new time here in Arizona. Lunch time. Tell me you're in the room. Say how to do, how to do. Got some pretty stuff to show you guys that are going to go live on Friday. So, it's springtime. Oh, in Arizona, it already feels like a mild summer. Um, but, you know, hey, that happens. Hey, Jay, how are you? How are you? Welcome. Greetings and salutation to you, bro. Let's start things off with a little news. Some announcements for you guys. All right. Swarm Party Game Olympics. Yes, you heard that here from me. It's spring, so that means it's the call of the wild. Here at Coffin Comics. Um, there's only one way to harness all the primal energy, Swarm Party Game Olympics. Every order placed during spring break and promo this Friday at 9 a.m. will be thrown into the cauldron. Coffin crew members will pick from the cauldron and play party games on your behalf. If your Coffin crew champion wins, you will win items from the Coffin Vault <laughs> and beyond. That's right, we pull your name, whoever pulls your name, they'll be playing for you, and if they win, you get a prize. Maybe we'll show you some of those later on today. I don't know, we might do it tomorrow. But all I know is this sounds like a lot of fun. Friday, we get to play the Party Olympics here at HQ, and you get to watch with us. Each game will be different, announced in advance, and happens at the following times live on Facebook, and YouTube, Friday, April 9th, noon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., and 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Times, which will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 p.m. for all you East Coast people out there. There will be six games in total, six prizes in total. The sooner you place your order, the sooner your name will get picked from the cauldron. You get to join the fun, and this is what's going to be coming your way, 9 a.m. Jay, what's up? Jay, Jay, Jay. My day is doing good. Thank you very much. I hope yours is doing just as well. Um, trying, to, uh, you know, trying to find a house is hard, um, and especially in the Arizona market, it's darn near impossible. But we got our fingers crossed. We're going to get a home. Finally, first home. 
So let me show you some of these beautiful exclusives we got coming your way Friday, this Friday, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Get ready, because you're going to have the newest edition done by Sora Song. This is really beautiful. This is Lady Death Damnation Game Spring Equinox. This is one beautiful piece. I really love the colors she chose. I love the little skulls. I showed you guys the 11 by 17 print on Monday. Well, I got the mock-ups. I got the mock-ups. Check this out. This is the Spring Equinox Edition. This will be available at 9 a.m. Friday. Friday. Anyone remember that, that late night skit show, Fridays? I'm old. So I remember as a kid, it was kind of like, a Friday night version of Saturday Night Live, but with all different casts. It's Friday! Yeah, anyways, it was a lot of fun. Every so often that show pops in my head, and I'm like, I vaguely remember watching some of those late at night. Next up, another sore song, Beauty. This is the Damnation Game Naughty Spring Equinox. This is really beautiful. I really just, again, the colors just pop so much. It is really beautiful. I mean, what more could you expect from Sora Song? Just a really nice piece. Thank you so much. Um, I'll mock you up, hooligan. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> this will go live 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, which will be 8 a.m. Pacific Time, which will be... 11 p.m. Eastern Time. It's getting really hard to figure out these times, but I'll figure it out. Even though I live in Arizona and we just ignore everyone's time changes. It's true. Next up, Richard Ortiz here is in the house. This is the Unholy Ruin Naughty Luscious ed Edition. I don't know why I called it Agenda. Anyways, this is the <laughs> Naughty Luscious mock-up. This will go live Friday 9 a.m. Wait until... Dude, I don't know. Hi, Eric. This will go live Friday morning. 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Boom. Look at this. Beautiful. There is also a luscious metal edition. Richard Ortiz is knocking it out of the park. This is stunning. And what's interesting is uh, the day these came to the office, I was going through um, some of the last of the Avatar stock I have and seeing Richard's art. And my God, it's amazing just to watch artists progress who have been with us with a while. They just get better and better. And I, I, I really love what he's cranking out. This is one of the most beautiful pieces he's done for us. Stunning piece. There is a metal edition, a metal luscious will also be available, limit one per person on the metals, as will the hollows. And what would a promo be without an awesome mock-up by Stephen Butler and Dan Feldmeyer? This is the Nightmare Nurse. This is an homage to the Night Nurse. She's a character in the Marvel Universe that kind of takes care of the uh, supervillains uh, if they've been hurt. She's kind of like the private nurse slash doctor. Uh, in the TV series, she appeared on the Netflix series of Daredevil. And it was Rosario Dawson played her, which I thought was a perfect choice. But yeah, if, you, if you're not familiar with her character, definitely check out the uh, Daredevil TV series uh, they did on Netflix. Very good series. Very brutal series. I really enjoyed it a lot. But this is the Nightmare Nurse. Lady Death Extinction is first one, Nightmare Nurse. This will go live on Friday morning. Set your alarms. You know, a lot of these exclusives do go quickly. And probably one of my favorites. This one is really cool. For all you Scott Lewis fans, I present to you today, and I'm so happy to have the mock-up of it. This looks stunning. This is uh, Lady Death Oblivion Kiss. Death from Above 2, Holofoil. Yes, this is a new Death from Above art. Scott Lewis. Wow, that really sparkles. Woo! 
Uh, this light, it's hot. It really makes the room hot, but man, it really makes these covers pop. Thank you, Jimmy. So there you go, guys. Um, I did not have a sample or a mock-up of the metal one, but you know it's going to look great, and I'm going to make it be my prettiest metals I make for you guys. So what else do we got going on? Well, lots of other fun stuff. So remember, the earlier you place an order, the sooner we can put your name in the cauldron. That player, we're going to have six, six different games, and there's going to be you know, people competing against each other, but they're going to be playing for you. So let's see how it goes. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Great way to spend the afternoon here at HQ and get to spend some a fun time with you guys. Just showing you all the amazing stuff um, we'll be doing, all the fun, all the camaraderie. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. What a fun day to do a work where uh, for your last half of the day you're just competing in party games and um, hopefully winning prizes for all you folks. There will be prints of these available, of these editions, by the way, folks. And one of them, there's a really awesome set where you get all six prints, and it's 80 bucks. These will all be 11 by 17. Very nice stuff. Also, the Muerta Kickstarter, the Muerta Onslaught starts in May 2021. Release some of the images. Check out that freaking cover, man. Beautiful. That is a beautiful cover, guys. La Huerta's back. New Kickstarter. It's the seventh chapter in her story. Um, if anyone needed a little peace and quiet, it's combat veteran Maria Diaz, a.k.a. La Muerta, the avenging angel of the streets. It's too bad a gang of murderous psychos have other plans for her. Invading the secret lair of Loco, Maria's luchador alley and killers seek bloody payback for their fallen brothers. Savage vengeance that erupts is only a hint of the brutality yet to come. Godlike uh, extinction level villain Insurrectus has taken his demonic progeny to sour, no, oh, scour. <laughs> Yeah, scour the earth and assassinate those with supernatural powers will be defeated. Will will be willing to defend the innocent. <laughs> Which brings them on a collision course with La Muerta and her allies. It's gonna be epic. I've seen some of the uh just the black and whites. Uh, but right here, this is what the hardcover edition is going to look like. This is some stunning pieces here. This will be our next Kickstarter launching in May. Yes. Beautiful hardcover edition. This will be the art of La Muerta. Yes, an art book for La Muerta. This is the signed special edition cover. Beautiful. Beautiful pieces, guys. I'm so glad because I've only seen these images in black and white. Here's the, uh, coming up, La Muerta Lives Volume 2 Trade Paperback. We are doing a second trade paperback for La Muerta. Perfect something to put on your bookshelf and you want, someone wants, you want to turn someone on to La Muerta, give them the trade. Hook them up. Here's what the hardcover for Volume 2 will look like. Beautiful pieces, guys. This will be the Kickstarter we're launching in May, La Muerta. See, also, thank you, everyone. Uh, David Harrigan, um... Did an amazing job getting everything done for you guys. Um, thank you very much for everyone who uh, put in your orders and and just just thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. We had a, a really good time with Harrigan when he's here, um, doing the remarks, making sure everything was signed. So it was nice to see him. So here again, this is the stuff for the spring break in exclusives. Uh, there is six books and there is going to be a collector's box. Yes, there will be a collector's box for all you people out there wanting to know. All right, let's see who's in the room right now. What do we got? Okay. Miguel! Yes, I am hooked on phonics. Art print on the wall. Uh, Eric, check the store and see if it's on the store. Um, I know we're slowly going through cataloging everything we have here at HQ and off sites. Um, so I'll take a look. Uh, I would say check the store for the fine art print. 
Uh, I forgot the name of it. Um, but yes, there may be one or two of these left. I don't know. Um, I'll ask Dakota and I'll try to send you a message to see what I was able to find out. Let's see. Ashley, welcome. Ace, what's up, man? I enjoyed the heck out of Godzilla vs. Kong. I enjoyed it, but I'm not going to see it again until I can see it in a movie theater. I got to see that sucker on a big screen. Big time. I might even splurge for IMAX just because, yeah. Yeah, I want to see it on the big screen. Hello, nurse. Well, thank you. I thought I, I feel pretty hot. Thank you for making me feel hot there, Miguel. Just for you. No problem, Jay. Uh, hopefully Brandy doesn't play for me. Uh, yeah, well, you never know. <laughs> I, I know I'll be uh, in doing some of the games, um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this. I know, I know. Dude, Jay, I agree with you. These are some of the most beautiful and where to covers. Uh, we're going to be putting out on Kickstarter. I was floored and all I saw was the black and white, like no color, and they were stunning. They really made me gasp. They're so beautiful. Ashley, welcome. Everyone, you know, thank you for welcoming me, everyone in the groups and saying hi, and especially anybody who's new who's coming in. You're with a great group of people here, man. Everyone's friendly and helpful, and if you have questions about editions or the past history, these people will let you know you came to the right place, man. Everyone has open arms. Gus, how are you? Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I got to see it on the big screen, dude. I mean, it was cool to watch it in my house. I could rewind and kind of go back, but I really want to experience with a large popcorn, a nice cold iced tea, maybe I'll sneak in a flask, and... <laughs> I've done it sometimes. I'm a bad boy. And just to experience that film on the big screen. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, okay, let me show you guys some of the stuff I have up on the catacombs. Uh, I did a little teasing that there will be some uh, classic stuff coming your way. So I thought uh, this was a really interesting find. Uh, these were, I only have three of them. I like to call these items, these are the building blocks of Coffin Comics. This is Chaos at uh, Cavalcade, Terror of, Tour of Terror, Hall of Foil cards signed by Brian. I only have three. I only have three of these. So what I've been hinting at is I have, um, gonna be loading up a lot of cool old chase cards, chromium ones, stuff like that. I even found some, not many, triple sign. That's right, uh, Stephen Hughes, Brian Polito, Jason Jensen. I maybe two or three and that's it. Possibly only one of each. So uh, yeah, really cool stuff coming up over the next two weeks for you guys. Um, and the reason why I like to call this old stuff the building blocks of coffin, because a lot of the stuff Brian was doing shows, he was in Artist Alley, really, you know, kind of getting himself out there again, you know, resurrecting like the phoenix from the fire, from the ashes of chaos, just rising up, building his power, and all these little things, these little cool collectible stuff that have been in his collection, he just brought them to shows. And I like to think a little piece of this stuff is what built this house we're in, in HQ. So I'll be presenting some of that stuff for you guys over the next couple of weeks. Another cool item. I. I think I might have another one of these floating around, but so far, all I have is one Evil Ernie Chromium sticker. This thing is so old, I don't know if it's gonna come off. Um, it's really old. Uh, I wanna say this is probably, see this is from Evil Ernie Revenge, so I wanna say maybe 96. So, also all you sticker fans, also in a couple weeks, lots of classic Chaos stickers. I'm not gonna tell you what stickers, but, um, they were pretty cool. I couldn't believe I found them and um, starting to get them cataloged and ready to get loaded up for future catacombs. A majority of those cards will be on next, week, uh, next week's show here at the Swar Nation. I figured I'd try to put the most of the old school stuff on uh, the Wednesday show here at the Swar Nation for all you folks. So um, I'm looking forward to it. 
Next up, I got a BP edition. Lady Death, Damnation Game. This is the Strike BP. This is my last BP that I have available. And this is a great homage to uh, the uh, Wolverine comic where um, he's fighting Hulk and inside his claws you see the reflection of the Hulk's face. Beautiful book. Wonderful homage. And this is to be the last I present until I can get more. This is Lady Death Icon Yo-Yo Edition with a Yo-Yo Remark. This is the last one. If you guys have missed out on the other six I have had, this is your last chance. This is my only one left. Boom. Look at that. I love Yo-Yo's art style. And I, I know there's a lot of you out there that really enjoy her style too. because It's very unique, very cool. Um, I, I'm so glad I got to meet her. She's a very sweet one. Next up, I only have five of these and that's it. They are gone. This is La Muerta Ascension Homage Edition. I only have five available. Hopefully I can run across some more, but so far this is it. Last five copies of La Muerta Ascension Homage Edition from the Kickstarter. God, I, I wish I could do a good karate kick, but I'd probably rip my pants or throw out my hip or something because, you know, I'm old and I can't do stuff like that anymore. <laughs> I'm already ready for a Miguel Apodaca joke to come along because, you know, that's what he does. All right, guys, I present to you the last three I found of this. This is Lady Death Heartbreaker, I Heart You Edition. Last three. This is from this past Valentine's Day. So if you guys missed out, grab it, get it, got it. It's yours. Only three left. Uh, let's see. You know what? Yeah, I like that, Ace. I do. Uh, Swarmfest would be like a family reunion. Um, especially we're going to have lots of new family members joining us. And I think this is going to be bigger than Fiend Fest was two years ago. So, yeah, I'm excited, Ace. I really like that name. That's a beautiful phrase. This is a family reunion at Sworn Fest. Oh, God. How much stretching, stretching do you have to do, Jay? Because, you know, I, yeah. Uh, my stretching days are way behind me. You know, now it's just snap, crackle, and pop. I sound like a cereal when I get out of bed. Next up, these are the last five copies. This is Lady Death Lingerie. This is the Heartless Metal Edition. Last five copies. Ah, this is beautiful. This is, this is a really fun metal. I love making the metals. Um, one thing uh, I really wanted to keep doing, even though I was no longer part of the warehouse crew, um, I was the one that made all the metals over the last few years, lenticulars. And um, I, I just asked if I could still continue doing it because I love just going outside, except for when it's 120 degrees. And just making metals, just making pretty books for you guys. Because I really put a lot of myself into them. I don't put the art on it, but I, I really try to make sure I make those covers look as pretty as possible. All right, here we go. This is Lady Death Lingerie, a Heaven and Hell set. Who is calling me? Scam likely. Don't you call. Godzilla. Yeah, that's my ringtone. Old Hanna-Barbera cartoon. You guys heard it here first. This is a two-book set. Heaven and Hell. Beautiful pieces. I highly recommend it, folks. Oh, yeah. Hey, I didn't know you could hear me in the background. Ha-ha! <laughs> okay. See what else did I have here? Oh, these are my last three copies of Friday the 13th Blood Bath number two. Platinum Foils, last three copies. This is it. If you've been hemming and hawing, don't him and haw anymore. This is it. I will be completely out of these covers. Um, I'm almost out of everything Friday the 13th. I'm gonna try to bring what's left of the horror stuff um, onto future shows. So keep an eye out if you missed out. Yes, it is still sealed. It has the COA. 
So these are my last three copies of Friday the 13th, Bloodbath, number dose. And I got some other fun stuff for you guys today. Again, a couple weird ones that I found in a box. Uh, this is the only copy I have that Brian wrote of Chucky from Devil's Due Press, issue two. Only one, that's it. Did it today, only Chucky com comic I could find that was done by Brian. And for all you uh, Jim Ballant fans out there, I have Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose, Knight of the Krampus. This is the January, this is the issue 84A cover. Really nice piece. Um, Jim Ballant has been self-publishing out of Broadsword Comics for God, about 20 years now. Close to 20 years. And he's just been really, I've watched when this series first came out, I ordered some for the store and people just kept eating it up and buying them out. And I kept ordering them until I left the store. So um, this was a really fun find. Um, Jim Ballant's Tarot Witch of the Rack Rose has been around for a while. Uh, a lot of people um, I know are big fans of it because they're also very huge Jim Ballant fans. So there you guys today. It's the only one I have. Again, it was found in one of those random boxes with other comics, and it's like, well, let's sell them here. One shop, off in comic shop. All right, next up, I only have one copy. This is Bajanique, Art of Monty Moore Softcover. For all you Monty Moore fans, I have one of these available. Oh, look, it's got a halo. Halo. Oops. Ow, my hat. Is, okay. I might have to take off the sombrero or I'm gonna take off everything. But look, it also has the first purgatory image he did. I think that's the first uh, piece of art he did for Brian back in the chaos days, so. Bam, piece of history there, guys. Beautiful artwork. This is all his uh, black and whites, there is colors in here. Just, if you know Monty Moore, <laughs> you know what to expect. Awesomeness. All right, next up. Another Monty Moore art book. I only have one copy of this. This is the cover up, 25 years of cover art by Monty Moore. One book, another beautiful book, guys. 80 pages of nothing but beautiful covers that Monty Moore has done. Oh, look at it. Chaos Comics era. God, these are beautiful. Really beautiful art book. If you're a fan of Monty Moore and you have not scooped up these art books, I highly recommend it. It even has a lot of the uh, game book arts uh, he's done over the years, too. So definitely check it out, guys. Really beautiful art book. And also, I found one left by the amazing Dawn McTague. This is her art book drawn, hardcover. I only have the one left. Let's see if you can see that okay. Oh, beautiful artwork, guys. I'll open up and take a gander. Look at this. I, I really just... Beautiful work, guys. Shows you some of the, the, the black and whites before they added the color. Look at this. It's beautiful. I know all you Don McTeague fans would love to have this on your shelf for part of your collection. Well, here you go. I got one left. And the last thing I have for you, let me see. Gus, thank you very much, man. By the way, Gus, how was your Easter? I hope you had a good weekend with the family. I hope everyone was well. So, yeah, people, I hope everyone had a good uh, three-day weekend last week. And I hope everyone really got some good quality time with some family and friends. Because, hey, that's what the weekends are all about. And last, but definitely not least, these are the last two remarks I have. This is the Monty Moore cover-up. With remarks, there's only two left in each one. It's the Monty Moore hardcover cover-up. 25 years of cover art by Monty Moore. There's one where you can see the, the remark inside. Put that in nice and slow there. Set that down right there. And let me show you the remark on the other one. These are really, really cool. Uh, again, I, I ran across this stuff um, in boxes. So this is, these were done two years ago. Um, it's 
So it's kind of cool that some of the stuff Brian gives me to uh, say, hey, you're right, I got a bunch of stuff. So let's see what you can do with it. So that's how the catacombs came to be. Even got a little helper that goes into the deep catacombs. And speaking of the catacombs, I have finally accomplished and got La Muerta cataloged and assorted. Uh, Hell Witch has been sorted. Now I just need to catalog it. And then the Lady Death um, Deep Vault stuff will start to get organized and cataloged. And from there, I will be able to reach out to all you beautiful people who've sent me want lists of things you're looking for to complete your collection. Um, so far, I have seen a couple covers that I know people have been uh, asked me about. So uh, once I get everything kind of cleaned up, um, or, uh, in an organized manner, because it's kind of all over the place, um, I'll start reaching out to you guys. Um, so yeah, keep a lookout. It's coming. I'm so excited. It is just a very major chore. I, 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 I Probably a good comparison with it is you're just opening your comic book shop and you got to organize your back issues. It's kind of like that. And they've never been organized, so it, it is very hard. But this is something I love doing. Just boom, 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 boom. Just getting everything cataloged and ready to go for you guys. So everyone who's been sending me a list, thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it. All right, so I just definitely went over time. <laughs> You're going to fly out to Arizona to help me catalog? Wow. All I want are evil or Jay Taylor, I got some cool cards coming. Some evil Ernie cards. Lady Death cards. You guys will have to stay tuned. Next week, here at the Catacombs on the Sworn Nation, I'm Julian the Hooligan. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. You guys have an amazing day. Have an even better weekend. And I will see you guys Monday on our YouTube channel. CCSN on Monday. Talk to you later, guys. I'm out. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Do this without tripping.